Today on MTG Impact, we're getting stuck into a Dominaria bundle, also known as a fat pack for you old school magic players. And with me I have Elspeth and Ajani, champion pack blessers. They got us some great pulls in our earlier Dominaria videos, so let's see if they can help us out today. And we'll get stuck into this right away. Take a look at the back here. So we get a player's guide, 10 15 card Dominaria booster packs, 80 card basic land pack, quick reference card, spin down life counter, and the card box. And there's also an added surprise if you don't know about it. You get this great box. Just kidding. You actually get a poster. They normally have the posters printed on the inside, so let's try to get this open without destroying the box too much. Get this glue off here. Okay, so we get a nice scene here. Joyra, Teferi and Khan, some of the main players in the world of Dominaria. And let's get stuck into this. So the player's guide, this is always fun. It's a bit of a, gives you a bit of background, Magic the Gathering comes home, so this is going back to one of the older realms, we've got some really amazing new artwork with the sagas, talking about the history of Dominaria, the weatherlight, some uh, cards to look for. Actually, yeah, that's a lot more than usual, a lot more background stuff. Very cool. And the top 10 coolest Dominaria cards. So let's see how this pans out. We get a Mox Amber, Jaya Ballard, Planeswalker, Lanoir Elves, Moldrotha the Gravetide, that's a mouthful, Weatherlight, uh, Teferi Hero of Dominaria, Fight with Fire, Banalish Marshal, Rite of Bells and Lock, and Khan's Temporal Sundering. So then after that you get the complete catalogue and a Don't Steal card. Fantastic. So some blue, black, red. Tried out some of the goblins in my mono red deck at FNM. And got a sound thrashing from some of the new combos that are appearing. Alright, so that is the player's guide. Let's crack into the box. These are always pretty nice. Um, store your cards in them. Spin down. We get a blue one. Alright. Ten packs. The good old quick reference card. Land pack. And that's it. So move these guys out of the way. Get our pack blessing path in order. And we're doing a double blessing today. If you have no idea what's going on, this is a bizarre ritual we do on the channel to hopefully give us some better pulls. I don't know how often that works out, but it makes me feel better when I get totally hosed. Then I can blame Jace, because he is the prime hoser for the pack opening videos. And if you disagree, if you think we have another contender, maybe Howard the Duck, leave a note in the comments. Alright, so let's get stuck into this pile of Dominaria goodness. At least I hope it's a pile of goodness. Okay, we get a Gitu Journey Mage. Excavation Elephant, and not an Evacuation Elephant. I always say that for some reason. Homerid Explorer. Drudge Sentinel, Mammoth Spider, Primordial Worm, Academy Drake, Demonic Vigor, Power Stone Shard, Shivan Fire, and for the Uncommons we have a Dauntless Bodyguard, Memorial to Glory, and a Mythic! It's the Weatherlight! Fantastic! I don't think I've pulled this one yet. 4-5 for 4 mana legendary artifact, vehicle with flying, crew cost is 3, 
Whenever it deals combat damage to a player, look at the top five cards of your library. You may reveal a historic card from among them and put it into your hand. Put the rest on the bottom of your library in a random order. So artifacts, legendaries and sagas all count as historic. And some nice artwork with the weatherlight. We also get a Garner the Blood Flame is our legendary. Actually another legendary. Forest and a sapling. So we're doing the sapling thing again. We're going to see how many different saplings we can get in the one video. And I think there's maybe three or four. Okay, next pack we get a Relic Runner. Warlord's Fury. Charge! Rat Colony! Yes! I'm trying to amass a collection of rats. And if you have no idea what the deal is with this, why it's so fantastic, a deck can have any number of cards named Rat Colony. Mind blown. Alright, let's move on. Lenoir Scout. Sapling Migration. Jousting Lance. Run em up. Blink of an Eye. Deathbloom Thalad. Sentinel of the Pearl Trident is the first of our uncommons. Thalad Soothsayer, and they have some really bizarre artwork in this series, this new set. And Urza's Ruinous Blast, there's a good one, Legendary Sorcery for 5. You may cast a Legendary Sorcery only if you control a Legendary Creature or Planeswalker. Aha, uh -huh. so that's the catch. Uh, you can exile all non-land permanents that aren't Legendary. And I'm guessing that's Urza there, just blowing everything to smithereens. Quen, Pride of Femrith, is a legendary creature. And a mountain and a sapling. And I, I keep thinking this is like one of those characters out of Cuphead, if you've seen that animated game that came out recently. He's just dancing around. Anyway, maybe that'll be in the sequel. I should do a uh, Dominaria weird sapling, weird creature game. That'd be pretty fun. Leave a note in the comments if you believe that would be a totally stupid idea or a fantastic idea. We have Befuddle, Bloodstone Goblin, Invoke the Divine, Opt, Dark Bargain, Crusan Druid, Vicious Offering, Guardians of Koilos, Baloth Gorgia, Rescue, and for our uncommons, we have Nature's Spiral, Curator's Ward, and these cards, this is one of the things I've noticed, they seem to slip around everywhere, like maybe a slippery coating more so than previous sets. And Sulphur Falls, alright, Jewel Land, enters battlefield tapped unless you control an island or a mountain, so I believe these are these so-called check lands. So if you've got one of those existing lands, you do not have to tap this when it enters. Adeliz the Cinder Wind. Legendary creature, I saw that one at FNM. Planes and a sapling. Okay, we have three different kinds of saplings. Which one do you believe is the weirdest? Leave a note in the comments. Okay, so we have Arcane Flight, that was pretty good at pre-release, Warlord's Fury, Knight of New Benalia, Befuddle, Gaia's Protector, Windgrace Acolyte, Yavamaya Sackbird, Aesir Glider, Rampaging Cyclops, Broken Bond. And a amaranthine wall, and this looks spectacular in foil. That was one of the uh, snack videos, I believe, where we pulled one of these. Shield of the Realm. And a Banalish Marshal. Okay, 3-3 three, three for three planes. Creature Human Knight. Other creatures you control get plus one, plus one. Seems decent. And an Urgros the Empty One is our legendary with an island and a soldier token. 
Okay, so let's move on. Maybe we'll get a Jaya in here. That'd be nice. I think I'm still waiting to pull a Teferi. I'm not sure if I've got one of those yet. Arcane Flight, Gitu Chronicler, Benalish Honor Guard, Artifice's Assistant, Rat Colony, you know the drill, Rat Colony, fantastic, Lenoir Scout, Rescue, I think we're probably up to like 10 or 15 rats by now, I haven't been keeping track, I should have, Keldon Raider, Mesa Unicorn with that amazing mane of hair, look at that, straight from a shampoo commercial on cable television. Amazing. Aesir Glider, the eldest reborn, is an uh, uncommon saga. Howling Golem, and a Still Leaf Champion. Okay, that's a solid pull. 5 4 for 3 mana. Still Leaf Champion can't be blocked by creatures with power 2 or less. So all those little token decks, you can just run right over them. That seems pretty good. And a Tiana Ships Caretaker is a uncommon legendary with a swamp. And a Mad Max Goblin. I just think this is fantastic. I needed a few more tokens of this actually for the uh, Siege Gang Commander. So that will be nice. Okay, we are halfway through. Five more packs to go. Still a chance of a crazy pull. We get Diavenant Trapper. Syncopate. Gift of Growth. Soul Salvage. Gideon's Reproach, also known as the really epic punch. Lenoir Elves. Uh, get lots of forests out of those guys. Um, people have been calling them the lawn mowers, although I would have thought they actually grow the lawns instead of mow them. Thalid Omnivore, Skittering Surveyor, Academy Drake, Seismic Shift, In Bolus's Clutches, Liliana, now you're in deep trouble. Settle the score. And Jaya's Immolating Inferno, Legendary Sorcery for X and two mountains. So this has the catch that you have to control a legendary creature or planeswalker to cast it. Jaya's Immolating Inferno deals X damage to each of up to three targets. Alright, and a Tetsuko Umazawa Fugitive, Legendary Creature. With the planes and the sapling. So we're getting some duplication now with the sapling. Let's move on to the next pack. What do we get here? A Knight of New Benalia. A Fuddle. Soul Salvage. Grow from the Ashes. Cabal Evangel. Primordial Worm. Navigator's Compass. Cloud Reader Sphinx. Fiery Intervention, Blood Tallow Candle, and I love that artwork, that's pretty cool. In foil, this would be amazing. Icy Manipulator, first right uncommon, Settle the Score, and Sylvan Awakening. So this is a sorcery for three, until your next turn all lands you control become 2-2 two -two elemental creatures with reach, indestructible, and haste the still lands, and this was a pain in the butt at pre-release. Somebody cast that and suddenly I had a whole heap of elemental creatures on the other side of the board. Not fun. Adelaide's the Cinderwind is a legendary creature with a forest and an elemental. Uh, one thing I should mention, at the time of this filming there is a giveaway for a pre-release pack. That is for passing the 900 subscriber milestone. I'll leave a link in the description for that giveaway that's open to US and Canadian residents. So hopefully when you're watching this it's still open. So go check that out and good luck. And Gitu Journey Mage is the first of the next pack. Invoke the Divine, 
Bodolian Arcanist, Radiating Lightning, Grow from the Ashes, Blessing of Belzenlock, Academy Journal Mage, Bailoth Gorger, Guardians of Koilos, Kilden Raider, Spore Swarm is the first of our uncommons in this pack, Spore Crown Thalad. Now, does this get your vote for the weirdest artwork in Dominaria? Or do we have other contenders? Uh, perhaps um, Slime, what's his name? Slime Foot or something. The uh, Weatherlight Stowaway, he's, he's pretty weird. And another Weatherlight Mythic. Fantastic, can't complain. I'll take an extra Mythic any day of the week, even if it's worthless. I think this is probably worth a few bucks. And a Tatchover Benthic Druid is our legendary with an island. And we get one of these flower looking sapling tokens. Down to the last two packs Ajani, Elspeth, Ware. Well, actually, I can't complain too much. There are some good pulls there. Those mythics are nice, but come on, we need something more. Give the viewers something fantastic. Befuddle, Skirt Prospector, Sergeant at Arms, Cold Water Snapper. Kids, don't let your turtle out because this is what he'll turn into. He'll go down in the sewers, he'll either fight crime or he'll turn into this massive beast. Caligo Skin Witch, Gaia's Protector, Blessed Light, Kilden Overseer, Academy Journey Mage, Tragic Poet, and we get a Saga, Triumph of Drad is the first of the uncommons, Zalfrin Void, and a Rite of Bells and Lock. Alright, so this is an enchantment saga for four mana. So you know the drill, you add a lore counter at each step and sacrifice the card after three. So one and two create two zero one black cleric creature tokens. And number three is create a six six black demon creature token with flying trample and at the beginning of your upkeep sacrifice another creature. If you can't this creature deals six damage to you. So you better have a creature you want to toss aside at the last minute. And Quen Pride of Femorif, which if I'm not mistaken we already pulled once in this video, and a Swamp and a Night Token. Okay, all our hope is resting on this final pack. Let's see how we do. A Gutu Journey Mage. Evacuation Elephant! Rat Colony! Yes! We got a rat colony. Oh, don't know what came over me. Lanawar Scout, Lanawar Elves, Sparring Construct, Eviscerate, Unwind, Voltaic Servant, Runamuck, Wizard's Lightning. Now let's see, was this the Nuisance card? Yes, I believe this was the Nuisance card at FNM. Knight of Grace, Sorcerer's Wand, and another Mythic, alright, three Mythics, that is pretty solid. We get a Naru Meha, Master Wizard, Legendary Creature Human Wizard, 3-3 three, three for 4 mana with Flash. When she enters the battlefield, copy target instant or sorcery spell you control, you may choose new targets for the copy. And other wizard you control get plus one plus one, so that's a solid wizard tribal card. And a mythic. Fantastic. And a mountain and a sapling. So we've got two of each kind of sapling. Leave a note in the comments if there is actually another one or it's just three. So let's do a quick review here. Naru Meha. Rider Bells and Lot, Weatherlight, Sylvan Awakening, Jaya's Immolating Inferno. Still Leaf Champion, Benalish Marshal, Sulfur Falls, Urza's Ruinous Blast, and another Weatherlight. So, three Mythic Box, I'll take it. And at the time of this video, 
we are getting very very close to 1000 subscribers so when we pass that milestone and a short time after the 900 subscriber video uh, giveaway has aired we will have a 1000 subscriber giveaway for a Dominaria bundle just like this um, not this particular one but it will be uh, exactly the same sort of thing just different cards so we'll be cracking that open on the channel probably sometime in the next couple of weeks and I'd like to thank everybody for sticking around watching the videos on the channel leaving comments hitting the like button right if you like this video give it a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button for more Magic the Gathering unboxings and be sure to tap the notification bell. I know YouTube hasn't always been notifying people when the videos come out, but that is one way you can make sure you don't miss a single new video. And let me know in the comments, are you planning to pick up a bundle? What do you think of Dominaria so far? Are you happy with it? Have you participated in pre-release or draft? I'd be interested to hear how you went. And as always, have a great day.